Hello, people. This is Marty A. Johnson. Show. I think I'm on a delay. It's okay. A A A. How y'all feeling? Feeling good. good. You, Charlie, you clean up real nice from earlier today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you like a, it's day and night, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's like it's a whole it's a whole different energy, huh? Yes, gotta be. It's your <laughs> time. Lavelle, did you see Charlene earlier? It's your time. I did not see her earlier, but you on oh. point. <laughs> <laughs> I was really looking like grandma today with my bet um bonnet on and everything. Great oh, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. No, um, I was um I had daddy duties all day today. When you sick from school and daddy got to come to the school, yes. I, I got no problem coming. Talking about I want to go outside and play. You sick, remember? <laughs> <laughs> that part. Yeah. Did that sound old school to you? That that don't that still apply? If you sit, take your nap. That's yep. right. Thing else applies. Talking about I'm not sick no more. Too bad. You can't go outside here. But no, mm-hmm. enough, enough about that. So how's your day feeling? What you been up to? Staying busy? Staying busy, man. Moving, moving, but we got a lot of good music. Hopefully, a lot of good music to listen to tonight. Oh, and Ooh. especially oh. tapping in. <laughs> Okay, is the factory going to tap in? That's what I want to know. See, the factory is tapping in. You know, King J tapping in. And oh, who? I, I know he's tapping in. I'm going to fix my stuff in a minute. Give me a second. So, um, Lavelle, while I get together, what are we looking for tonight, please? Look, you need to send your absolute best music to Marty A. Johnson for gmail.com. But if it is not something you would send to a record label for a one shot opportunity, do not send the file. Marty A. Johnson. Please, for- though. Oh. <laughs> Please, yeah. please do not. Please, no, no, no. No, but this is, we say this every week. Do not. And tonight, don't embarrass yourself. Let's, 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 you guys. No, let's, we have real. T- Lavelle, this is a. Okay, before we get into our little sermon, tonight is a PSA. Mm. We have a multi platinum producer coming on, Grammy nominated, so, so millions of records. He worked with some big name artists. Lavelle, who's where? Give me one and Charlie, name another one. No, you tell him one. What's one? Travis Scott. Charlie, yes. another one. Nicki Minaj. And Future. Yes. He got plaques and everything. Earth time, earth time. And oh. Lavelle, is this the time that you really need to come on here and lie and say, this is my absolute greatest work? No, please. Your latest, your latest ain't necessarily your greatest. Please send in the best work. Say that again. <laughs> latest ain't the greatest all the time. No. And I really, really, truly, I truly, truly, truly want the best for these people, the artists, per se. Yes. And, and I'm not being shady. I It's still Marty A. Johnson. We, we call it how it is. You can be that mad all you want. Yes. So in the meantime, <laughs> look, I'll be all, then I, in the meantime, first off, let me give a big shout out to our good friend, Greg Br- Browning. Yeah. Shout out to Greg. What's up, um, Greg? Look, Greg is a really good friend of ours. Um, he's one of the man- co-managers of 112. Shout out to... I'm about to go by the government. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Shout out to Slim and um, Mike. You know, you know people you're about to call them by your, you know, the government names. <laughs> no, um, he said he set up a, a nice little meeting. Um, hi, Miss Deborah. Hey, Miss Deborah. Okay, Miss Deborah. Let me, let me call it how it is, Miss Deborah. Miss Deborah, first off, I appreciate the talk. I really, truly do. I appreciate the conversation. I appreciate every single thing. However, however, Marty Johnson Show is my name. That's great. That's cute for me. It is cute for me. However, yeah. there are people behind the scenes that make this little, this little old machine work. <laughs> they do. And, that, and I ride and die for the people that ride and die for me. And if you can't appreciate that, Miss Deborah, I can't. I can't work with you. That part. And 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 that's the God honest truth. You you can you can nice and call me nephew and cute talk me to death, and it's all out of respect, Miss Deborah. I'm still calling you Miss because you are my elder. No, I'm calling it the way I see it. If you don't appreciate the work that the people behind the scenes put in, I'm, I'm not going to have. Pookie that I don't know, come on this umbrella and, and tell me how to operate the, 
the machine. I, mean, I can just get someone this look like this. <laughs> that part. And then, no, I'm not being bothered. <laughs> that part. <laughs> At least I'm being fair. It is, and we so, appreciate being fair. So, Ms. Deborah, with that being said, we're gonna revisit this in in March, unless remember, um, Greg had me meeting with Revo next month, so you better tighten up quick. Because I'm a keep all, In the meantime, I'm keep all, I'm a keep all moving. Everyone's coming with me. The people that supported me. That includes Charlene. That definitely includes JD. And the boy right here. As this, as he, he's gonna be Antoine on the contract, but he can say what he want behind the scenes. <laughs> no, but no, no, but but no, but 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 seriously, a, a at least. No, I just had to get this quick PSA. I had a, a second meeting with TV One. I'm going to tag y'all tonight, so people don't think I'm lying. You know I already got to say that, huh? Yeah. No, no, let me move on for now. I'm going to get back a little bit later. Let's get back to the artist. I'm going to open up my stuff in a minute. Let's get back to the artist. A multi-platinum producer's coming on. Yes. Where's Kara Janae? At least. See me Jay Chosen. I see Jay Chosen's doing country now. So see me the record. Okay. Look, I didn't want to hear it. Um, I want to, I want to see what Nitty got up up his sleeve. So I know Nitty will might be break dancing next month. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that, but that, that I, I I rocked with them. But but in the meantime, we're gonna do a little bit something different for tap in. Oh, so a little bit something different. And let me break this down. Only result, basically is an established artist, and they have some new stuff that we're gonna critique on the show. Oh. Lavelle, do you like this? Oh, this, I'm I'm all ears right now. All right. Today, first off, we're going to say happy birthday to Mary J. Blige. Today is her birthday. Happy birthday, sweetie. Um, the queen is, and I can say, I don't never say woman's age. But anyhow, um, we're going to do a back to back. To back. Oh. Mary just dropped two brand new singles. OK. We're going to debut on the Marty A. Johnson show. That part. Yes. So let's do our promo. Ooh, it's going to be good. Oh, if you're an artist, tap in. We have a multi platinum producer coming on tonight. Yes. Tonight. Charlene, what do you need to send it to? Marty A. Johnson 4 at gmail.com. Marty A. Johnson 4 at gmail.com. And Lavelle, remind him one more time what kind of music we're looking for. This is a PSA tonight. We don't care if it's jazz, hip hop, tap, reggae. Just make sure that it's your greatest, not just necessarily your latest work. Marty A. Johnson for gmail.com. Call it up and defend that record. 1-877-627-8990 if you got something. That's it. You're, I like that. Your greatest, not your latest. Not your latest. All right, let's tap in. Let's take care of some business now. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, we're going to cut the queen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. All right, Mary. What's up, Mary J. Blige? It's the Marty A. Johnson Show, along with LaVille and Charlene. Peace, Queen. We would love to have you on this program so we can celebrate you. Right now, we're going to chop it up and debut one of your new singles called Good Morning Gorgeous. LaVille, she is the queen of hip-hop soul, but we're not feeling Good Morning Gorgeous. What's going to happen? Get in the cut, Mary. Charlene, we don't hear this till when? Till now. Mary J. Blige. It's so hard just holding on. Ain't even picking up my phone. It's hard enough to be, hard enough to stay, hard enough to be alone. It's you. I'm just trying to move along. Sometimes I do and then I don't. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell myself that it ain't help me. Second guessing it don't help me. I'm so tired of feeling empty. Fly my eyes, it's time to fight. It seems like I'm always against me. It seems like this is the end. I refuse to let it me. Mentally, mm -hmm. spiritually, oh. physically, I need my peace. Oh. I need my peace. Charlie, you married to the boys? 
I'll wake up every morning and tell myself I'm one gorgeous. Sometimes you gotta look in the mirror and say Come on, be gorgeous No one else can make you feel this way Come on, be gorgeous Good morning, gorgeous Come on, be gorgeous All the times that I hated myself All the times that I wanted to be someone else All the times that I should have been gentle with me All the times that I should have been careful with me Why did I hate myself? The hell you work with Mary? So just me Oh, help me I wake up every morning and tell myself Come on, hey, gorgeous Sometimes I gotta look in the mirror and say Come on, hey, gorgeous no one else can make me. Is that good? Good morning, gorgeous. Good morning, gorgeous. I ain't talking about getting no hair and makeup. I'm talking about as soon as I wake up. I say good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm ready to get down. I'm ready to go. That was Mary J. Blige. Good morning, gorgeous. Charlene, why are you cutting the queen? Okay, she she the queen. Yes, I love Mary J. Blige. I just don't like this song. I love. Okay, I love the meaning behind the song. Do. The chorus of the song, I love that. It's just the verses that she didn't she didn't do her best with the singing of it to me. Vocally, it wasn't good. Liddell, did did the queen disappoint? I wouldn't say she disappointed. This, is this like the uh, the biggest comeback I would have you know expect? Not necessarily, but I didn't want to cut it. I was writing, you know. Okay. The the meaning is probably bigger than the sign of control on it, but it was strong enough. We were supposed to be truthful. I felt, so I cut the shit. Well, I'm going to be truthful also. The truth is, we would love to have the Queen of Hip Hop soul right here on the Marty A. Johnson show. And that's, that's a true. fact. So, Queen. <laughs> oh, I have no problem asking. So, Queen, please tap all the way in because this is Marty A. Johnson show. Please. I got no problem asking. <laughs> but let's continue because it's still back to back. Ooh, because remember I said, say it's Mary J. Blige's birthday. Again, happy birthday, Mary. Happy These birthday. artists tap all the way in, Marty A. Johnson 4 at Gmail. And then, um, again, I don't hear these. Peace, Queen, a hip hop soul, Mary J. Blige. This is Marty A. Johnson, along with LaVelle and Charlene. We have a brand new joint called Amazing, featuring DJ Khaled. Oh. And we're going to hear it right here on the Marty A. Johnson show. Lavelle, if we're not feeling this new record by the queen of hip-hop soul, Mary J. Blige, what's going to happen? Cut. Oh, no. Charlene, we don't hear this joint till when? Till now. Come on, queen. Another one. Back to back. to the queen, Mary J. Blige. It's so hard to think when everything I do is real. Money and a doggy bag, I ain't missing no meals. Don't move on me wrong, I need to save my energy. Everybody's family, leave it to the industry. Girl, out of noise, we ain't talking that way. We ain't moving like that, no way, no way. Girl, out of noise, only positive vibes. I don't play no mind, I don't play no mind. No mind. Every day, like my birthday, I bring the cake in. Bring the cake in. Lavelle, what happened? I don't know. That hurt my soul. It's like it hurt my feelings. As I was going across my neck, my stomach started to like twist. That was that hurt. Ooh, it's Kylie's fault, man. You always doing that. That's why I said, ah, oh, because Kylie, man, you always. 
hopping on people's trying to make mega records and messing up these legends' records. Queen Dub definitely wasn't it. In the meantime, we would still want to have you on here. You are DJ Callum, so please tap all the way in. This is Marty A. Johnson's show. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I had the flu, not COVID, so bear with me. Let me tell you what I think the problem was with both of these records here. I'm going to call it the way I see it. Go ahead. First off, she's she's iconic. She's legendary. She's solidified. There's uh, no question about that. That's right. I, however, I'm using me. I'm use. I'll just say this first. She's not doing what Usher did. Collaborate with some of the younger folks. Give me, oh, yeah. give me, mix it up. Like the LMA don't waste your time, which we debuted in the studio Marty Johnson show. I did, so that's the fact. Um, and uh, come over with um, Summer Walker. That gave yeah. Usher a whole new, whole new life. Yep. Hold on, do y'all agree or not? I do. I, you make a good point with that. It's like that take her in a whole new, different direction than what we're used to hearing from Mary, and it's not working. That that only at least these two songs for me, it's not working. You want to hear that timeless Mary J. You know, there's nothing wrong with trying to do something new, but make sure it, it stays within that that wheel. That that didn't work for me. And I love Queen. I'll just use me and I'm, I'm gonna get off that. Just like me. I, I love music now, it's iconic, legendary. I had to switch it up. If I came round two, doing music lounge part two, then I'm like, okay, people that rock me before be like, okay, I already seen that, done that. Yeah. Look, I, I switched it up quick. Queen got well, let me move on. We love you here, Queen. In the meantime, where's character? Let me let's move on. Okay, if you're an artist, let's see. Let's go to the inbox. Let me tell you what happened today to me today. So um, so I just said uh, I normally don't do, but uh, I just said, um, okay, I'll reply back to your email. So I got an inbox today. I get an inbox all the time, but today I actually replied. I actually, I actually, I did. I actually replied, and um, I'm actually tagged this little boy. Little boy, like I said, <laughs> his name is Navin N A V I N Smith, N A V I N Smith. Remember the name, Charlene. If you can tag him, let me know. N A V I N Smith. It was on Facebook. He inboxed me today, and um, he said, "What's up, Marty? Let's do a, a IG live, or let's do a." A one on one. I said, bro, I'm not doing that. Um, I want you to listen to my music. I said, sure. I said, sure. I said, sure. And I'm actually talking myself. I said, sure. Um, send it to me at Marty A. Johnson 4 at gmail.com. This is all today. And I said, um, this is all facts. I said, um, oh, Navin Jones, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. It's Jones, I'm sorry, Navin Jones, J-O-N-E-S. Anyhow, I told him to send the music. He sent the music to me. Oh, did you listen to it? No. Tapping at 7 o'clock, 7.30. You can't <laughs> listen to it now? No! <laughs> he said, but it's hot. I said, okay, I'm not even entertaining him. Okay, Lavelle, when they do all that, is the music good? Historically speaking, the music may be, you know, it's, it may be okay, but at that point, you're, the expectation is automatically set somewhere else. So all that talking is going to be backed up even twice as much. So the record is going to have to be damn near undeniable. Yeah. Don't talk. Navin, Navin Jones, historically speaking on this platform, when people do all that legit and go directly to me that I normally don't reply back to, Charlie, is the music never good? Is music usually good? Not. Yeah, usually it's not. <clears throat> Mr. Jones, I'm not disrespecting you, young man, but uh, I'm still an OG, a young one. Here's what I would do for you. He's on. Speaking, he's on. Uh, he's on. Yeah. Um, and don't try to pop off because I am an OG. So look, <laughs> if it's here's what I'm gonna do for you. Call me up first. What's the number, Lavelle? Call me up. Look, one eight seven seven six two seven eight nine nine zero. Okay, Maven Jones. This will make you call me. Guess what? I'm going to make a bet with you. Ooh. Call me up, depending on your record. If your music's good, I will give you $100 tonight. 
Woo! Because I have not heard it. But historically speaking, people that go through all that with me, the music's never good. But you have to call me up within one minute. And the number is on my feed. Sweetie, we don't do skipping lines and cash apps on this show. Oh, I'm too top tier for that. We don't do that. I'm too top tier. Okay. So in the meantime, let me play Mr. Jones' record. Um, Lavelle, I will give him one hundred dollars tonight. Ooh. Yeah, thirty seconds to call me yeah. at one eight seven seven Marty ninety. Come hey, on, call. Hello, Lavelle. Hey, Lavelle. Look, this is how confident I am on this little platform. Look, if it's good, I'll give you hundred dollars tonight because I have not heard it. Because you talk big talk to me, I'll oh, skip it. Never mind. Blah blah blah. However, let me play Mr. Jones music right now. Um, give it a chance. Um, he said, he even left me a message. <laughs> um, here you go. Please play this and hit me up. Okay. Um, now, don't pop up in my comments now, because I'm too top tier to give you no storyline now. Okay, <laughs> let, let's play it. Um, the joint's called, let me just play it. Lavelle, good music normally has what? No expiration date. No expiration date. And no explanation needed. Let's go ahead and play it. Tap in. One hundred dollars. <laughs> Better show, boy, you know I'm in the strength of them. Baby, yeah, I'm hot, running small just like a cylinder fan. Run up on me now, I get to shooting like the Tyler band. Niggas want to talk to me, I know I'm not the middle man. Fuck, what he's saying? I'm just trying to take him out. Pull up on your block with the chopper, just see what he's talking about. Yeah, I got some killers in the West, in the South. We got bowers in the crib, boy, you know we bring them out. Wake up every day, boy, you know I'm feeling moody. Man, I pray to God that these niggas, they don't shoot me. Yeah, I got a ratchet, call that bitch my little two. Cause up in the garage, I don't know which one I'm shooting. All is doing silent, they don't know what I be doing. Slide up on the ops just to see what they be doing. Niggas acting tough when they see me, I'ma shoot them. Posting on the block with his dirty color room. Free all my niggas, we ain't never going back. The police try to play us, but never want to show the facts. Bitch, we a dog, pussy nigga, you a cat. We be riding your city in a motherfucking scat. You know I keep the penny, fuck a block, it's a Mac. Pull up on your block with the choppers up in the back. Put one in your hair, roll it up, it's a pack. Put one in your hair, roll it up. It's a pack gang. Pull up on your block, bitch. You niggas think it's switching sweet. Niggas like to talk. I keep them running on their fucking feet. Yo, bitch, want to find me so I keep her on her fucking knees. She's a okay. Um, sir, I played 90 seconds of it and I gave you three minutes to call me. I'm, I'm, okay. I don't, okay. Mr. Jones. First off, thank you for sending it in. I'll say that. Call me up to your record. Cause the panel, the panel was um, cringing over here. So Lavelle, <laughs> Lavelle, we have a producer. Seriously, Lavelle, no bull crap aside, all, all BS. Ser seriously, hi. Right. Right. I'm sorry for those that's new to the party. This is the Marty A. Johnson show. I forgot, but sometimes we have new people that watch the show, so I'm sorry. So sometimes we have new people to watch that watch this little platform. Hold on, is our viewership good? Cause you know I'm not looking. Are we good? You look. Yes. Yeah, okay. 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 So anyhow. So look. Um we have a multi-platinum producer that that was nominated for a Grammy last year for Nicki Minaj album. Um he worked with Nicki Minaj, he worked with Marty A. Johnson, he worked with Big Boy from Outcast, he worked with Future, he worked with Travis Scott, he worked with a whole dungeon family. That's in the past two years. Charlene, would you present this to him at eight o'clock? No. No, most definitely not. <laughs> okay. Lavelle, would you present this, Lavelle? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for tapping in. Let's move, hey, let's move on. Real. Uh, uh, uh. Real. So, um, oh, Kenny MacGyver. Kenny MacGyver, you normally have hot stuff on here. So call me up, Kenny, because you know, Look, you want me to present your stuff to the heavyweights now at eight o'clock. You know how to get my little side deal off the back. So you gotta call me up live, yeah. Kenny. A G and B. At least I'm honest, right? I'm up on business. That part. Gotta be about business first. Kenny MacGyver in um Bankhead called Kenny Talk. Tag Kenny MacGyver. ASAP. 
Kenny MacGyver and Bankhead. Lavelle, have you heard Can We Talk? Yes. Okay. At this time, look, I haven't heard it. Would you present this to the um Grammy non Grammy nominated multi platinum producer? Would you present this? This is way more interesting. Like, this is definitely something that I think would at least get some interest from the producer, like as far as okay. working. Okay, let's see. Cause remember, he's coming on in five minutes. Where's Kara Janae? Where's um Jerry at? Where's the lead at? All right. <laughs> Let's see. Tap in. Can't be a player for real, you know. When you find somebody worth it, hold on. Keep close to the chest. Now my fingers in the screen, you know what they say. Bad girls never go good. Good girls never go bad if you treat them right. For real. Yeah, you know you find my uh-huh. So I be looking at the skies Faking God that you find my And how you look from behind Let's go somewhere, hey Let me pick your mind, my Now we can talk about this and that Different ports with trips attached Cause you know we out of source when we disattach uh-huh. I'ma keep it real with you I promise more work and less talk yeah. see, see, you blessed and got the best Is part out, I find perfection in your imperfections Hope ain't disrespecting uh-huh. those your best part Loving on your scars, hugging on those stretch marks Before somebody disrespect you, I stretch marks Cause you know your man crazy And I don't play about my lady Cause you my baby Better yet, you my best friend yeah. They say life's a movie Us cruising a sunset would be the best ending Can we go Somewhere and get close Over shining toes it's a celebration, got the mother bitches hating. Come on. Can we talk for a minute? Cause I know life's home. Now you get what you deserve, and now we in that coop swerving. Can we go somewhere and get close? Okay. Kenny called me up. I have we got we got so much to do in five minutes because he's coming on eight o'clock. Kenny MacGyver. You better call me now. Um, where's Jerry at? Where's Where's KT at? I right, know KT's there. Oh, I'm here. Oh, I'm here. Um, oh. all right. So um, cause look, um, Josh Adams, who I know very well. Look, we from the same hometown. Me and this boy grew up together. Now you know how you say people know people. I know this boy. He called He called me up personally. Right, I had to call him back on Showtime. <laughs> I said, no, I'm not going to talk about X, Y, Z. I already know. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll see you at 8 o'clock. <laughs> so, um, sorry. I guess I'm a drink. So, Kara, your name? Let me play here. Okay, Charlene, what I like about that, I think they should start off with a hook first. The home sewing in. Yeah. Something more familiarized with the bars and all that. Um, the bars yeah, was cool. I can see that. I my opinion, you y'all should start off with the hook first. Familiarize people's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Because the bars is there. I really wasn't feeling the production. Okay. Or is that me, Charlene? No, you're right. Okay. So, but I can sell it with Kenny. I can sell Kenny because. Kenny looks like an artist. He does. Kenny comes on a game ready. Like I said, Lavelle, it's a difference between um, a rapper and an artist. That's for sure. It's a difference. When I see Kara Tanae, I don't see a singer. I see an artist, even artist. in the laundromat, even in the gym. That's for and sure. And then 10 minutes later, she in full hair and makeup. <laughs> that part. <laughs> For sure. Seriously. Those are people I ride for that I can sell. Jerry is marketable. King Jada Bluntman. Uh-huh. Not mine. Oh, let me get back to... Okay, where's Kenny MacGyver at? Because Kenny, I ain't presenting you to, you know, we get signed in black and white. You know how I am. Yeah, <laughs> Kenny, bro, I see you in the comments, man. Kenny. Yeah. We got you, KT. Okay, let me see. Let me place it. Even though, um, um, okay, let me call him JB's now because it's it's show mode. Josh, 
You know, you know people we know by the government name is Jay Beats. Jay Beats. He's not big on R&B because he mainly go on hip hop. He don't know about R&B tape. And I played this girl. Let me see. Okay. Don't really take a lot to do it for me. When posted up in the crib, ain't where I'm trying to be. Only two in the crew, bobbing next to me. While we floating on the cloud from the Cali, we I feel the wind through the waves, vibrations. A little dose of that sweet sensation. Oh, he's already here. Let me stop. Hey, this I mean, Mark. If you're an artist, this time you better tap in. We're gonna hit real quick, real hey. fires. See, this is what I mean. Hey. See, when you tap, all right, now, Carol Janae, I'm going to present. Jerry, I'm going to present. Kenny, I'm going to present. And someone else up my sleeve, if you wow me. Okay. This is what I mean by people on time. <laughs> okay. Look, I'm about to call someone else real quick. In the meantime, Charlene, bring your A game, huh? That part. All right, so look, if you're right. an artist, you better have your paper, your pe pencil and pen handy, because this is free game right here. You want to yeah. find out about the business. You're going to find out if you're making money or not. So, and this is why this is Marty A. Johnson's show. Ruben, hey, Ruben. Ruben's from my hometown. Oh, what's up, New London, Connecticut? I know I see y'all on here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, let me give an introduction for him. LaVell, where you at? Coming, coming, just sharing. All right. Woo! All right. So um, this gentleman here, he's really no, he's really no stranger to me at the Marty A. Johnson show. I known him for a very, very, very long time. But in the in the meantime, for the professional people, um, he was born in he was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He grew up. He actually grew up in my hometown. Shout out to New London, Connecticut. But after the live in Connecticut, um, we reconnected right back in. Where you at? <laughs> I'm gonna give you a nice introduction. So people don't think my fair lies, Charlene. So they don't think I'm lying. Yeah, so they don't think you're lying. <laughs> they always think I'm lying half the time. So um, so after after Atlanta, after he left Connecticut, after he left Connecticut, um, he he went down, he went down to Atlanta, Georgia. He was an intern at Stankonia Studios for the legendary big boy of Outcast. And then from there, reconnected with me, chopped it up and all that. Then next thing you know, poof. He, can you hear me? Yeah. I'm giving you an introduction real quick so I can give you a rose as well. You're, you're here with us. So Oh yeah, so I, hear, while, I hear you. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So at, after he left Stankonia Studio, after he paid his dues being an intern, he poof went off to LA. Became Grammy nominated, multi platinum plaques, um, Nicki Minaj, Future, Travis Scott. He got a couple other yeah. things I can't I can't tell right now because he he called me on my personal phone for Showtime say don't talk about this. <laughs> I said <laughs> I said I said boy if you don't give my phone and I will see you at eight o'clock. <laughs> Hold on, is this <laughs> is all this true so far? Don't think I'm lying. Is this true? <laughs> yeah, no, you, I called you like 15 minutes ago. I was like, I was like what are you going to ask me? <laughs> what are you going to be asking me on with? Okay, so we got JB here. So first off, we, first off, well, you know, this is Marty Johnson Show. Welcome. Where, where are you at right now? I'm at Venice Beach. Oh, I'm jealous. Hold on, you just left Connecticut. Weren't you just there? Yeah, I was just out there. I was in Connecticut, visiting the family. I uh, did New Year's in New York City. Look, hold on. Let me show you. Hold on. So you know I ain't capping. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What's it? Okay. You know my camera see see Well, look, look, okay. see, look. I'm around Venice Beach. I'm, I'm watching the sunset. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. Okay. okay. We got receipts. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. Good. Our time is limited. Let's get down to the business. Yes, so sir. First off, let me, let, me, let me get the small talk out the way. The the one thing I like about um Josh, well, Jay Beats. Let me tell you one thing I like about my relationship with him. It's bigger than music because here's why. It's important about building the foundation with people because after he left, after he left um, Atlanta, he was in LA and truth be told, I came to LA, wasn't talking about no music. I was in LA by myself. Him and I went to lunch. Hold on. Is this true? 
No, yeah, no, you tell the truth, sir. Yeah. 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 Him and I went to lunch. I stayed an extra couple of days just to see him, just chopping it up. And then. I remember, then we took, remember we took a picture in front of the Hollywood sign? Remember we, we took, a, <laughs> took a photos in front of the Hollywood sign off the street? <laughs> yeah, we see. And then. Yeah. And then, um, and then, then we came, then I had to come back around a second time, ran in the studio out, and then hold on. Um, what's the game's people name? Oh my God. Big Deuce. What's his name? Duke. I can't remember. Ooh. I can't remember the dude's name. I remember the studio got running out and all that stuff. Remember that studio? Don't leave me lying. Now they're not lying. And it was a studio. Oh, no, I know you out. ain't lying. No, I know you ain't lying. It's just there's so many stories. I'm just trying to. I'm well, trying to dig like, deep in my in my attic. No, but anyhow, I'm, I'm trying you know to, find... to say sometimes when you build a relationship with people, it's bigger. Than, it's bigger than just the music. And that's important. It's Absolutely. Like, and that's why. That, that's I, okay. I to, yeah. And that's why I F U C K with him the hard way. Like seriously, I called him up. He's there, so I definitely appreciate you, King, just by coming on here. So look, yeah, for sure. So let's talk about the music. Um, I know you don't want to talk about no current projects. So, as, first off, Terry, when how did you really get your start? As you left, um, even though I know, as you left Sioux Falls, as you got your degree, how did you hook up and get the internship at um, Sanconia Studio? That I was actually at your birthday party. You know, I know everything. Yep. yep. I remember. Yeah. So now, nah, literally, like, I graduated from, from Full Sail. It was what? It was what? August 2006. And um, I literally, like, two days after graduation, I hopped in my car and I drove to Atlanta, Georgia. And, um, you know, I was like, you know, I'm just going to see what the season is. I, ne I never actually never even been to Atlanta before. So I, I drove up there. I got a hotel. I called like every studio and then I happened to find out where Stankonia was. So I literally knocked on the door. I rang the doorbell at Stankonia with my resume fresh out of college said, Hey, I'm looking for an entry level position, you know? And, uh, and they gave me, and they gave me my first job in the music business. And, and tell artists uh, this all the time. Cause some people, sorry, artists, I got called the way I said, tell me how it is. It's okay to start and work your way up. Some people just think they lit because they got 18 likes. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah, it's like, it's like, if you ain't coming in the game with a, with a, with a big, with a big ass budget, if you ain't got a half a million, quarter million, if you ain't got a hundred thousand dollar budget in the game, if you got, you got, if you ain't got money to, to put yourself right away, you, you got to like get with a team and build. I mean, you got to do that anyway. You know what I mean? Even with the bread, you still got to get, you got to get in with a team and build. You know what I'm saying? Help somebody else help you, you know? And that's the process people don't understand. They think they're entitled because of their life, because of the things they went through. They think they're entitled to this thing that they believe in. Man, we all have our hoops and ladders that we went through in our lives, you know what I mean? But I still had to help somebody get their job done. And in return, I was able to accomplish my goals by helping someone else. Uh, 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 obtain their goals, if that makes any sense. It, it, it makes per perfect sense. So, um, when you left, when you left, um, Stink Only Studio, I know you work with everyone from the Dungeon Family. You did yep. pretty much everyone from the Dungeon Family. Um, pretty much, yeah, there, pretty much, yeah. When you left there, was it really hard making that transition from, um, LA? Because LA is right now, LA has, LA and Atlanta are two different worlds to itself, as far as like entertainment wise. For sure. How would yeah. you make a transition? Yeah, people get, I'm, I'm, Go ahead. Oh, no. So people get lost out here. People get lost in the sauce, they think, because they're in the Hollywood Hills hanging out with, I don't know, uh, an actor, John. I'm just saying a random actor. They hang out with, the, with the actor's cousin, and they're getting drunk, and they think they made it. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, you know, then two years later, three years later, they, they're, they're homeless, you know, panhandling or playing the guitar or at Venice Beach. You know what I'm saying? It's like people really get lost out here you know what i mean because there's so many people here who got it and there's so many people who think they got it because they're hanging out with the person who got it you know it's just you know it's it's one of those it's one of those funny cities but but for me for example when i left atlanta it was kind of like it was it was kind of like for me i just i just wanted to uh, obtain a higher level of success like i love atlanta atlanta's great you know uh, just different strokes for different folks you know and I came out here with the ambition and the passion that I was going to do something great again, just like the same passion I had when I moved to Atlanta. I just had to, you know, I just believed in myself and 
you know, in the Lord and, and the journey where I was headed, you know what I mean? So, so, so I just came out here in LA and just, just wing it, you know, shout out, you know, to my uncle, I got an uncle to live out, 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 out in, uh, in Burbank, you know, so, so I crashed at his place when I first got out here, you know what I mean? And I still had a crib in Atlanta. I just, I was renting my crib out in Atlanta and I was out here, you know what I'm saying? At my uncle's house for the first couple months, figuring it out. And then, um, and then I got a gig with, with a, one of the biggest Grammy award winning uh, ghostwriters in, in the game. You know, I, uh, it was like right after the Grammys, I got a call, you know, and I, I was his personal engineer. You know, I, I took the job to be his personal engineer and I helped him with a lot of projects. He was working with a lot of the big names. And then and in return of me helping him with his, helping to get his company situated, he started using my beats and, put, and, and writing to my beats and putting my stuff into motion. That's how I was able to get on like these albums out here with the, uh, working with, you know, with Future, Nicki Minaj, you know, uh, Travis Scott. You know what I mean? Because these are some of the, the ghostwriters' clients. You know what I mean? And that's how I was able so to find my beats. Just, slow down with your story a little bit. Because you're a good storyteller. I want people to know how do you really make the connect? Or is Nikki, Future, and Travis Scott, which one of the three were you able to link up with first? It was like Nikki. Oh, no, 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 Future, no, Future. No, Future. Yeah, yeah. We was, I was on Malibu Beach. Uh, we had a beach house in Malibu for like a whole summer. And that's when we did the Hendrix album. Uh, yeah, yeah, me and my client, which is a big ghostwriter. So he was working on that project. I was working on the project with him. And uh, we worked on like nine songs on the future Hendrix album. You know, uh, the song with Rihanna, um, Selfish, you know, like, um, it was like, uh, like, like eight or nine songs all together on that album, you know? So pretty much the whole future Hendrix album I, I touched. Okay, so explain this to me. When you say he was in his... So when you worked on the album, were you in studio with him, or was it something just like sitting in the track? Some, somewhat, yeah, a little, a little, yeah, yeah. It was both. It was both okay. during the pre-production and the post during the pre-production and the post-production. Okay. Yeah. Okay, just do more yeah, days yeah. out, so you don't know So, um, how's the money situation work with that? You good, bro? It's still Marty A. Johnson show. What's that? Um, so how's it? Tell everyone. Do do producers make more than the artists on certain situations? It's still Marty A. Johnson show. I got to ask real questions. I mean, it, it depends. I mean, my, the best situation, if you're the producer and you want to make more money than the artist, then you got to be the producer and the label, you know, and, and, and own the masters and really put money up for the artist. You know what I mean? Or or let the artist eat half the masters, however you do it. You just got to have some ownership. You know what I mean? If you try to make bank bank, you got to own the label. You got to own some stuff, but you got to have money to put up. Because if you talk about owning this and that, you got to have you got to have bank behind it. If you ain't got no bank, then you might as well just... Hustle your beats and try to figure it out. <laughs> okay, do I need more be more direct? Okay, was it five, six, five digits or six digits? <laughs> no, I gotta ask it. What do you mean? Or did you get your money on the back end for future or you got yours from the sales of the, of the album? Because I know there's a front end oh, and there's both. a Oh, both, oh, both, both. I get both. Okay, that's what you're asking. I wasn't understanding what you were asking. Okay, okay sorry. I, mean, maybe I, I, I was. I thought you asked something else. Okay, but uh, yes, as far as that project goes, I got my upfront advance and and publish it as well. Yes. Oh, good, good. Okay. Yeah. Nicki Minaj. You know, some people. You and I. You and I had a. You and I had a heated debate one time when you called <laughs> me in the studio one time. You know, I remember you and I had a heated debate. When we talked about, um, yeah. I called him one time. We did an in studio show, Lavelle and Charlene. I asked Jay Beats here, naming the top five females of all times. He put Nicki Minaj on the top. I said, Boy, if you don't get off my, my damn phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was before I produced the record. Yeah. So, no. Is the talent really there or is it really a facade? A facade. Is the talent really there? Her. No, she dope. No, no, she dope. I love her voice, her energy. No, I mean, no, she dope. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, every artist got their own way of working, but no, she, she I mean, for, for, for my part, she dope. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay, since we're really good friends, I, and I, I'm not going to ask you the question you told me not to ask, but here's one thing I do want to, who's the most difficult client that you work with that we all know? Who's the most difficult one? Give me, a, give me an artist that we all know. Who's difficult? One of the most difficult people I've ever worked with. A couple. In the, in the past, I would have to say I would have to say Dito. Who? Yeah, yeah. 
detail. He's like he 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 rolled drunk and produced drunk love for Beyonce. Yeah, he he was a yeah he it was yeah a lot of good times, but he yeah he was a, kind of a difficult client. <laughs> But people may not know the name. But also Give great, but, but, but also great at the same time. You know, it's, you know, yeah. But, but, but for the for the most part, like with these big name artists, I've had good, I have I have good experiences. I, um, you know, like the only time I have really had bad experiences were with some of these no names thinking they were the shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me give you an example. Yeah. I think you. Let me tell you. Um, I know you have some of your artists. Um, I can't ask you about Dwayne and all them who I met in L.A. Oh, is that off limits? Yeah. Well, that's off limits. You can talk about Dwayne. Okay. No, you can talk about that. I'm. We met Dwayne. Oh, they was with me. We met. We met Dwayne. We met Dwayne. Right. They was with me in LA. Let me tell you. What I like about him, he looked like an artist. He did. He did. Yeah. When it's time for him to turn it on, I felt like he didn't deliver. That's one thing. Said it one more time. He looked. He, oh, said it one, th- one more time. He looked like an artist, and then and then what? When it's time, you know, to turn it on, he couldn't deliver. Yeah, 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 yeah. He needs a lot of uh, development still. So yeah. when you, when you get an artist like that, that has the potential, versus what do you do with artists in that situation? How do you how do you um work your magic with them? Well, he's still like, like we got, like he's still in developmental stages. Like we got him in the studio all the time. Okay. I got, I just got him a new manager. I, I got him with a producer. I, I got. They're all living in the same house, and they're cutting records like every day as we speak. You know what I mean? So, so when I brought in this new manager, he's only been with him for a couple of weeks now, and I, I got him in there to help with his artist development. It's like, yo, we gotta get this kid on point. We gotta get him ready for interviews, you know, yeah. and on media training. So, so he's helping him out with that now as we speak. I mean, yeah, yeah. You on point I with that? I need to come back out there and help you with this the development part. That's what they need. They need help you. Why out not? That. Shoot. That, that's Why not? You know? Because I didn't. Because I did do. I'll be honest. Half the stuff. Sixty-five percent of our new season is done, and I didn't want to do because you're my people, and I rock you the hard way. He don't. He, he didn't serve you justice, and I really don't want to put it out to the masses for the first right. impression. <laughs> Hey, a question. Are we live right now? Or is this a pre-recording show? No, no, we live. It's Marty A. Johnson show. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, hold on. I'm just asking. Hold on. hold on. Let me make sure. Charlene, hold on. Let me check. I'm on, I'm on delay, JB. Hold on. Because they look. Lavelle. <laughs> hold on. Is the viewership good? Let me check. Yeah. JB, I don't look. Is the viewership L- good? Lavelle, like, crack it up. <laughs> okay. The viewership's good. So they're watching. So look. All right. Anyhow, well, no, I ain't nervous. No, I'm just asking. Yeah. But go ahead. Oh, no. We, cut we, we cut to the chip. All right. So no. We can get no. <laughs> we can, I can help you out. No. Back to the question. Let's talk about some artists. Let's talk about art artistry. Cause you already solidified and stuff like that. I don't I don't need to beat down a dead horse as far as like stuff that you've done. Cause I, I know what you've done. I know, I know yeah. that um your catalog speaks for itself. Um what is James but I'll give you one treat. I'll, I'll give you one because you know you remember. I, but I'll give you one thing. Remember, I said you, you gotta give me some. So I'll give you. So I'm I'm secretly working on French and future right now. When can I come and sit in the studio? Just pull up. I mean, I'm, I just got back in town, so you just got to book a flight. I mean, they pushed the Grammys back, so I would say come Grammy weekend when whenever they release the dates. Yeah. Don't give me no Hollywood talk, cause you know, cause you know how I do. Don't give me no Hollywood talk. <laughs> Well, they come before the Grammys or after that. If you want, if you want the Hollywood talk, because I'm gonna be busy that weekend. So, you know, but you can no, still come out too. Come out, come out, no. just come out, whatever. Just let's figure it out. Let's just schedule it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, Pull up. Like I said, like him. That, matter of fact, we're gonna talk about that later. Hold on. Let's go. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Right, cool. All right. What do JB? All right, JB. Because you got deep pockets, but you're in a comfortable situation. I ain't gonna tell all your business. You're in a nice situation right now. What do JBs look for in an artist right now? Because I know. You still got your ears to the street and all that. What would you look for in an artist right now? Then I'm gonna play you some records of some artists. Yes, when I look for the artists, I look I, I look at their image. I look at how they hold themselves. I look how they walk, how they talk, the people they keep around, how they dress. I I I I, I, I look at their story. I'm interested in their story. Um, where they've been, where they're going. Um, respect how they treat me and other people around them. 
and uh, and just their whole team, and and hopefully they got a little budget behind them. You know what I mean? Well, if not, because like, really, really, because really, huh? Well, we'll figure that out part later. Here's what I'm gonna do today. You give me some of your feedback, and um, you know, if Marty plays on, it's gonna be good. That I heard. All right, so um, okay. this person, I'm gonna start with a female first. Um, you're welcome, girl. Um, she's from LA. She's in LA right now. Okay. Um, is she, is well. she tuning into the show? Yeah, I know. Karen, Karen Janae, come on the live, girl. Joe Tara Renee, come on the virtual. Look, she she looked like a star. Very well polished. She got real vocals. Hold on, you really don't do R and B, okay. do you? Does she look good? Very good. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I look, Look, is her brain is, is her brains is, is her brains as smart as her beauty though? Yep. Hold on. Yeah. Look, I know you like black girls, but she's she, she, she a cute girl. <laughs> I, Stop. This is business. This is business now. So um let me play the record. Um when I first heard the record, Go ahead. I caught my interest right off the back. And I met her in person in LA. Okay. I, I met oh, her cool, myself cool, cool. in person. And uh when I see her a certified star, even in gym clothes. So, Karen Tanae. Yeah. All right. Oh, play even in gym clothes. Ooh, don't, don't tell me that. <laughs> you ready? Go ahead. I'm listening. It's called yes, yes, Outside. Sir. Is there a way you can turn your volume up on this song, Zoom? I can hear Okay, I got it. Can you hear it? Just play it now. Don't really take a lot to do it for me. We're you hear it? In the crib it when I'm trying to be. Yeah. While we two in the crew, bubbing next to me. While we floating on the cloud from the Cali we I feel the wind through the waves, vibrations. A little dose of that sweet sensation. Only speaking positive affirmations. So pull it up for tonight's celebration. We ain't got no time for the bullshit. Everywhere we go, we be too late. Oh, she's coming on. And everything we do is exclusive. And I don't give a fuck much we do. We're going way down tonight. I don't need a kiss. Oh, she just sang. Cause it's going up all night. I'm outside tonight. Oh, yeah. It's some R&B right here. Hey, what's up, Karen? How you doing? I'm doing better now. You in LA now? Yeah. Okay. I just watched the sunset. I, I just watched the sunset at Venice. Oh, okay. Yeah, the sun is yeah. going down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm at Venice Beach right now. What's the name of the song? It's called Outside. Outside, okay, bet. I love your harmonies, though. Har I love your harmonies and melodies, though. Thank you. Thank but you so much. You, you, could, you, could actually, you could actually sing, I could tell. Thank you, thank you. That's, That's very important. Yeah. Okay, now get her to Good sing. Job. Okay. Get her to sing the hook live. Hold on. Yeah, sing it live. Go ahead, come on. Okay. 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 I'm outside tonight. Chill over my ride. Cali red, red wine. Okay. All right. Beautiful voice, and you're beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Thank so, you. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, we might have to work or something. So, so follow my Instagram. It's at JB's the way it's spelled on here. Not and uh, and Mari's going to come out too. Don't give Hollywood talk. We live. 
<laughs> yeah, I hung you. So, Karen, uh, Shira says, J Beats, next to my name, that's my IG. Uh, yeah, uh, hit me with a follow. And uh, okay, maybe we can link sure. up on some music or something. For sure, for sure. I just, I just, I just opened the brand new, I just opened a brand new recording studio out here. It's called Mars Recording Studio. Okay, okay, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. for sure, we can, we could figure something out. Cause she is in LA. All right. You're still in LA, right? Yes, I'm still in yeah, LA. Yeah, yes. yeah, I'm a... Yes. <laughs> yeah, I just got, I just got back. I was in New York and Connecticut. It's 17 degrees there right now. I'm so glad it's 78. I'm out here chilling today. I came to the beach, you know, and watch the oh. sunset. So okay, so. that's what's up. That's so. What, what advice right, you well, give to her besides following the, the IG? You know, I'm about the business right now. Let okay. you tell me. Well, I'm interested. Okay. I mean, I'm interested. Number one, so that's that, that's a good thing. Uh, number two, I would like to hear more. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, like, and it's hard to hear really clear. I mean, I hear I hear enough through these AirPods that it's good, and she can actually sing. You know what I mean? I have to hear it, or like maybe you can email me the record so I, so I can listen to it more critically. Um, but, but the advice I can give her is to keep working because she she definitely has a dope sound. It reminds me of some like Mary J, more current type shit. You know, I, I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So look. You're, you're welcome. So, KT, I'm going to send that to him and um, I'm about to solicit him. So he gonna do all this Hollywood talk on me. I gotta get him while he's on here. So wait till we be talking, girl. <laughs> Thank you, Marty, Charlene, Lavelle. And it was a pleasure meeting you. It was definitely a pleasure meeting you. Thank, Thank you for you. listening. All right, thanks for coming on. All right, who, who, who's next? Who's next? Ooh, he like us now. Who's next? <laughs> all right, so um, <laughs> this is fun. I like this. This is fun. Where is um, King J the Butman? Because he's next. Can get a blood man. He up here, he said he up here. Okay, I'm scared to play yours because her I co-sign. <laughs> okay. Okay, King J the Blood Man. Do you want me to play COVID? COVID. Okay. His joint's called COVID. He's um he's actually out of Florida. He's yeah. Okay, yeah, but that whole part of Florida he's oh. in. Uh, Getting the name of it. But he is in Florida, though I know that. He he reminds me more of like a um a, um. Go ahead, sorry about that. Playing of his. COVID. Yep. Yeah. Okay. This joint's called COVID. C O V I D. Oh give, no. Give give Thank give I'm Jerry the, the invite. COVID. I hope it's good. If you ain't feeling it, give it the cut. All right. <laughs> I got you. Turn up, turn up. Huh. Yes, sir. Get the blind man dirty white. Yeah, turn up on put the niggas too nice. Nice. I know. Yeah. Get to the blind man. Hey, yeah, shit ain't same. Come in the front, shit up. I still be dripping from head to toe. I still keep my glinty toe. I'm trying to run up some motherfucking dollars. Bitch, I'm trying to give me some bucks. I take the music shit to the head. I'm about my business, boy. I'm about my bread. I'm about my business, boy. I'm about my bread. Sweet. Tie all the way up to my knee. I'm about to get on my ass. Where's King Jay from? Baby, want to be kidding me. Nigga, talking like they out here and got it. Never leave the house without my rocket. You be the plug and I be the socket. We can work together. Fill up both of our pockets. Got me a whip, but I want me another one. Hey, I'm going to put over my son. Every day I'm going to find the sun. Put it work out and have a little fun. My flow's so cold, you might need you a jacket. Make the pack disappear just like magic. You got a cost on your brothers, you trash. Just ain't used to hear, he wasn't no bad. I like the candle. People digging my shit, don't share my shit. Little boy, back in my level. I guess no break for battle. Hey, I got that Louis V face mask. Both of my pockets, they got some cash. Lock up the sink, had to change a bag. You ain't your mouth, heard you was a rat. Everywhere I go, I keep a gag. I am not without a pity pack. A nigga will act like your fucking friend. Turn around and shoot you right in the back. I don't want nobody to have my back, cause I don't trust nobody to have my back. Nigga, we'll change on you for a rat. Yeah, I keep me a small sucker for a fact. Shit ain't same. Come with the fuck shit up. I still be dripping from head to toe. Where's Jerry at? I'm trying to run up some motherfucking dollars, bitch. I'm trying to get my money. I take the music shit to the world. I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm here. 
Blunt man. What do you think of COVID? I think I got COVID listening to it. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm, I'm only saying that because he ain't get out here. Where he at? <laughs> See, he's trying to get his hook. hook is strong. I like the hook. Like Charlie. Like <laughs> We're just Charlie crack it up. But no, no, no. It's cool. No, it's, it's catchy. No, it's catchy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just like, if I can get out of here, he can get out of here. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay, Jerry, don't trying. ask me this no more because you killed me earlier. Um, so look, <laughs> don't you have your own label situation while he gets it together? What about your label situation? Tell me about that. Come on, me. <laughs> no, Charlene. Yes, you. Yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Sick of Man Entertainment is my label. Oh, uh, yes. I have a couple artists. I have a, a sign under me. I got like five producers signed under me. I got a couple engineers that work under me. Um, I got a new manager. Shout out to Prince Howard. He's, he's my new manager. Uh, and Mars Studios, Mars Recording Studio, just opened that up like three months ago. You know, uh, we're doing big things this year. You know, I got a, a, another people, another silent person I'm partnering with. I can't speak upon it yet because I signed an NDA, but once that deal closes, that's going to be amazing. But anyway, but anyway, to the label, Sick Made Entertainment, Mars Studio. That, that, that's what's popping right now. So that's that's so like my stuff that I'm working on right now. The, the studio that I seen it is actually in LA. Am I correct? Excuse me. Oh yeah, the studio. Yeah, we're like we're like twenty minutes from downtown LA. Yep. Okay. So all top of the line. So when I come there, I want some good BTS and all that stuff. Um, bro, bro, I got uh, bro, I got stars on the ceiling with the shooting stars in the booth and in the control room. I have massage chairs. Um. Well, I have uh, all the two tech, the CL1B. I got a private lounge. Where we going? Uh, I got all the. Where we going? I got all. I got all the channels: pay per view, porn, sports, everything. We got all the channels in the studio. It's expensive, um, people. His studio's not cheap. It sounds very expensive. And, yeah, and we have private armed security, ex marines uh, as, as our security. Yeah. So he basically is it okay? What the price is? Basically, this selling people like well, deep pockets like future. Um, King J the Blumen can't afford I mean, that. I mean, yes, our prices aren't like no 20 dollar hour shit. Of course not. But right now, since we just opened, we're doing 50% off prom promotion. We're doing 50% off uh, marketing promotion right now just to get people in the door so they know it's there. Ooh, that sounds really so, good. Okay. So okay. if anybody's interested, so anybody who's listening, if you're interested, uh, the, our Instagram is Mars dot recording dot studio, and the website is Mars Studio dot net. Don't worry, I'm gonna plug it up at the end. In, in, don't worry, you know I'm gonna take care of that for you. Um, that's uh, uh, King Jay the Buttman <laughs> in the red. Can you see him right there? Hey Jay. Okay. What's going on? Head. What's going on, family? How we doing? Uh, so pretty good. So, so JB, um. This is um King J King J the Blutman right here. He had a joint COVID. What do you think of think of that? You said you got COVID, you might have to quarantine now. <laughs> yeah, so I think I caught COVID. Listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Because he wasn't here. I was like, why ain't he here? You know, it's, it's on my honest opinion. But anyway, um no, I like the melodies. The melodies was good. 
you know, I, I, I like, I like how, how you approach the record. You know, I want, um, I wish my, I wish I could hear it louder because I'm in these AirPods. I can only hear it so loud. You know what I mean? So like, so you got to send me the record for me to give you like a hundred percent. You know what I mean? So right yeah. now you get about 70% because I got my AirPods turned all the way up and, and it's, they're playing it through the speaker. But from what I heard, I definitely like the melodies. You know, I like you know, like like the last girl, the other artist. I like her. I like her harmonies. You know, and I, you, I like the melodies, the way you're working your melodics. You know, how you rapping, and then you go back and you sing. I like how you're doing the singing, rapping back and forth. I like it. I fuck with it. Ten, what four, I, ten, Gary, what you want to ask him? Why you got him on you? This is free game right now. So you better you better thank me later and ask him. <laughs> where, where are you from, Jerry? Where you based? Where you based out of? St. Augustine, Florida, but I'm in Jack. I'm in Jacksonville, like an hour away. Okay, cool. Duba. How long you been doing this for? For uh, shit, for real, for real, about eight years. Eight years. Well, All seriously, right. seriously, oh. about five on papers, about five. All right. So my advice: move to Atlanta or LA, and and, and work your magic because obviously it's not working in Jacksonville. You've been there for eight years. You got you got to go somewhere else. Facts, facts. That's that's my that's my honest advice. You better tell the family it's time to pack up. The baby yeah. hasn't started school yet, so <laughs> you got, the baby hasn't started school yet, so it's free game right now. Seriously, pack up. Pack oh. up. Yeah. 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 Has, anyone, has anyone ever told you that before? Move. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I thought about moving. I just had. I just had this this expensive paying job, you know, so I they I had to take. No, I know, I know. I understand the job. The job is always the hardest thing. The money is always the challenge, and that's why a lot of people are afraid to take that leap. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, even if you gotta like, you know, they got the uh, they got you gotta save up, or even you gotta stay over in the hood, go over to the West End, or or you can you can go out to Stone Mountain. They got the the, the weekly hotels for like one forty nine a week. I mean, you in the hood. I mean, they're out there, the girls out there selling pussy and shit, but <laughs> I mean, you, you get out of your town, you're going to make your money until you move into Buckhead and shit, you know what I mean? So, but it, it's, it's just, it, you know, it's just the life that we live, you know? I mean, I wish it was all rainbows, and I wish it all, well, it was all rainbows and unicorns, but unfortunately, you got to get to the snakes and the fucking spiders before you get to the promised land, you know what I mean? Right, right. And even when you get to the promised land, you still got to revisit those alleys. Yeah, right. you're right. You, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta learn. That makes sense. Gotta learn. <laughs> learn it now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry, send him the record, and um, you know what you gotta do. So we ain't gonna be a dead horse with you. So you already yeah, know what you need. Just we're talking. <laughs> <right there. laughs> Set up. Thank you, Jerry. If you need help, if you need if you, if you need me to link you up with some good people out there, I got you though. Damn fool. Good people like what? Right. We all doing the side stuff. Good people like who? Let me see what's going on here. Well, 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 well run it through, we'll run it through Marty A. Johnson, and we'll all put it together. Yeah, right. you know how to mess around, Johnson. That part. <laughs> look, because um, Josh knows I don't play that. <laughs> he knows. Look, you. <laughs> That's, I'm glad. I'm well. First of all, Jerry, thank, thank you. Um, no, let's have real talk. Seriously, we're from we're from, we're from the same hometown. Let's talk about that for one. One hot Um. Yeah. Look, Jim, I'm only asking this once. Don't ask me this no more. Um. Do you feel obligated sometimes? People think you don't show love for the home team, the hometown. Do you ever get that? For oh, me? Yes. All the time. But you know what I did? This, you know what I did this Christmas break? I went and did a free event in New London. I did a free artist mixer. I pulled up. I ain't charged nobody. I let people play the music. I gave real advice, and I played some of my beats, and I ain't charged them a cent. So they can't say that about me no more. Wow, that was great. They really can't say nothing about. Yeah, I did that. I did that. I did that the day before New Year's. They don't know what I haven't done, and they pissed me off so many times. I had to pull receipts because <laughs> they didn't realize. <laughs> they didn't realize. For the past seven, well, sorry, I'm telling it right. For the past six years, I sponsored 20 kids to Upward Bound for the past six years. And they didn't do it last year because yeah. it was canceled because of COVID. See, but they don't tell well, that. Yeah. You got to pull your seats, you got to pull your books. Yeah. yeah, but no. Yeah, do it sometimes, you know? No, but I like I like the advice that you told um, King Jada Blutman about moving to a different avenue, different aspect, just a whole different market. 
Hell, every time I go to Atlanta, they think I live there. <laughs> Seriously, they think I live there because I'm not, I'm not, my park is not like Jay Beats, but I'm not, I'm not broke, broke. I'm able to, I have, I'm able yeah. to fly down an hour flight to North, I mean, from North Carolina to Atlanta if I have to for a situation. Sure. Are you in Raleigh? You guys in Raleigh, right? Yeah, Raleigh, Raleigh NC. I got this chick I'm talking to Riley. I'm trying to get her to fly out here. She's kind of bad. I don't know. She might. <laughs> if she whispering, you better fly your ass out here. She's definitely not a catfish. No. Okay. No, she ain't no okay. catfish. She's a, she a little cutie, though. She'd be like FaceTime me all the time and shit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What's her name? What's her uh, name? I can't, I'm not going to do that to her. Put it, put it in the text. Let me tell you. Put it in a text me, message. Let me show you. Put it in a text. All right, I got you. Put it in <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought um, I was like, hey, I'm doing a show at O'Reilly. You should listen. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, far, far as far as the people that you don't want to say, what what type what not what type? Who would you like to work with next that you have not worked with? Who's on your wish list? I always say Jay Z. I want to do a record with Hov. I know he's you know. I just that's my favorite all time rapper. So you know, I got to do a record with Hov. I want to do a record with Drake. Kanye, yeah, you know, some of the greats, you know. Every day, every month, like a different restaurant. Like different parts. But then, what you want to ask, um, JB? I can, I can talk to JB too. Nine o'clock next morning. <laughs> I had a, I had a question, just with all the artists watching sure. and, um, probably taking notes and everything like that. First of all, salute, salute to the, to the success that you've had in the industry, man. This is like an imaginary industry. You got to make, make your way your own. So, sure. done. Absolutely. Thank you. My, is for like really the artists watching. What is the most beneficial type of uh, situation as far as getting your music placed? A sync or a, like an album placement? And I, and I know a lot of artists don't know what that is, but um. Well, I know the good the, thing. Well, a good thing with sync. I know the good thing with syncs, depending on the level. Like mm -hmm. I give you an example. There's a song. There's a song actually I produced for Big Boy of Elcast like a long time ago. Like like and, and um, I made a lot of money off that record. And then recently this year, Disney Pixar uh, licensed it. So I got like another 20 grand off the song I made 15 years ago. Wow. For, you know what I'm saying? Just just for Disney to use the song. You know what I mean? So, so that's pretty cool. But but sync, anyway, but, but back to answer your question, I was just sharing that information. But but the, just to go back to your question, like if, if you don't have a lot of placements or if you just, you know, you sync, you can get a lot of placements for like cheap, you know, just depending on the company. They might say, "Hey, I want to, I want to sing ten beats for me, but I'm gonna give you fifteen hundred a beat." You know what I mean? But if you ain't making no money, and someone's gonna give you fifteen hundred beat times ten, do the math. You know, that's what fifteen thousand dollars you just made off a of track just sitting on. It's, you know, it's, it's so the sync way is a good way to get some fast money. You know, and then as far as the albums, you gotta play the the hustle game, seven beats, so managers, A and R's getting in the studios, praying that they use your records. It's it's a yeah, it's it's a it's a tough it's a tough game. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. So you say the syncs are more beneficial as you're getting the uh, placements together, definitely had the syncs lined up. For sure. For sure. Absolutely. I re I recommend that for anybody new coming in, you know. Boom. Appreciate so like it. right now, I've been like right, like yeah, like right now, I've been working my studio and my production. You know, and that's yeah. as far as musically, that's what I've been working on, and then get these artists together. <laughs> Fire. That's a, that's a really really good question. What what? Piggyback on that. There's a lot of artists. Again, I say this every week, but I'm gonna say it in front of JBs. There's a lot of artists out here, <laughs> eager, sometimes hungry, thirsty. Damn near desperate, no disrespect, just to get their music heard. Oh, no, 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 desperate. I, I, can I swear on him? Am I allowed to swear on the show or no? Huh? <laughs> yeah, don't, 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 don't be repetitive with it, but yeah. Okay, no, no, very desperate. Like, even dudes knocking on studio doors, talking about they'll suck dick for a studio oh, tour. No. Like, people, <laughs> people are desperate. I swear this is a true story. Yes, shot <laughs> with that. <laughs> Yo, they're not gonna door. They're, they're not gonna door. Ask that, for but... so they're not gonna door. And ask for a studio tour. It was like six o'clock in the morning. I was like, "Sorry, we don't give tours." Then he goes, "What do I gotta do? To, what, what do I gotta do around here to get a tour? Suck a dick or something?" 
I was like, all right, uh, close the door. Have a good day. Yeah, let that me, shit was let me weird. Let my quick. Well, that definitely happened. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. <laughs> yeah. That's how you get pop. <laughs> well, Sorry, I guys. Saying, but, Y'all want to know the real story. You know what yeah. I mean? Shoot. Well, I'm I'm going to say what I see artists do. I'm well. I have I haven't experienced that, but I'm I'm gonna tell you what artists we see artists do every week. <laughs> Even someone on here. All right, hey, gotcha. <laughs> Let me ask my question. I see a lot of artists. They go on other platforms, and they actually pay these MFers to play their records, ten dollars, twenty dollars, and but then the platforms yeah. are not credible. They don't have multi platinum producers like us. They never have celebrity celebrities like us. Never have multi platinum. Artists like us, we give them all this free game for free ninety nine. <laughs> that part, look. You gotta start getting. Some, you gotta get subscribe. You got. You, you should do subscribers. Charge even as a dollar a month, two dollars a month. Just oh, get, just do a wait, subscribing situation. Uh, um, wait till the new season. That's and, that's that's season five. That's and, they can, and, and they can download the Marty A Johnson Show app and watch the show right through the app. Um, that's that's in a couple of weeks. Don't trust me. Okay. Trust All right. Me. Well, oh, we. I want like ten percent. So. <laughs> um, you, are, you might have to come in your checkbook and back my situation. We have to talk about that after the show. Yeah, y'all know each other well. Y'all know each other very well. Because um, you might have to come in. That's a whole other conversation. Because because I never come. All right, we'll save that for uh, for later. Yeah, yeah, we'll save that for later. Yeah. Because so, that publishing check, you need to put in my back end. But Charlie, what you want to ask him? And that's for real. <laughs> Okay. What are you talking about? What? Charlene, what you going to ask Josh? Okay. I think Charlene has a question. What kind oh, of... you see how he's going to divert me from that, Charlene? Can I say it? Go ahead. <laughs> what kind of advice do you have for females that want to be engineers and producers in the music industry? Okay. Um, Keep your legs closed. Yes. I was just going to say something along those lines. I mean... Definitely be more selective on the guys you have sex with. Um, I hate to say that because, you know, I, mean, I don't have sex with every girl I work with. You know what I mean? I mean, that's weird. But, you know, because I'm more, like, selective, you know. They got to work their way to get to me. But anyway, that's another story. But but definitely keep their legs closed for sure. Um, but I, mean, I know it's hard to do that because, <laughs> because you know, they're around so many powerful men. Or maybe, you know, say, or a lot of these women don't have that much confidence. So they just... You know what I mean? So the so they just gotta they gotta love themselves. They gotta know they gotta know their worth. I'm not saying they can't give up the pussy, but it's but just maybe not as often. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you know select the guy and, and love with him. You know what I mean? So like say if a girl's coming and she wants to be an engineer, she meets all these producers. They all want to fuck her. Choose the one you're gonna fuck and build with him. Oh, I ain't gotta worry about that because she ain't even into no me. I'm not talking. About, I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about you. Well, I'm just saying, but does that make sense? Does that make sense? Because a lot of these girls, they be dick hopping, they be dick hopping, looking for opportunities. Yeah. And then they end up back to square one. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm about how one dick and build with that dick. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes. Does that, that make, make sense? That makes sense. Mess around and give a nice card and get put a baby in them. <laughs> I mean, put a baby up, then, 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 then her job is going to be stay at home mom, and you're going to have to double work. You know what I'm saying? Or, right. But, you know? Yeah. Right. But anyway. Let me tell you. Let me or she's going to have to do a, or, or she gonna have to engineer a session while you babysit. And then when you engineer a session, she got to babysit. So it's like the baby, engineer, yeah. the two, the yeah. two up and coming engineers with a baby, and they both still living in a one bedroom apartment. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's tough. You know what I'm saying? Especially in LA. It's not cheap here. Not at yeah, all. We, we've been here. Everything is high. Yeah. Let's talk about yeah. artists in, in development relationships with people. We've been doing this platform. I'm going to say, with me, with LaVelle and Charlene, we're going on season five um, in a couple, very soon. Um, and they've been rocking with me. These two have been rocking with me consistently, which I definitely appreciate. The problem I have with some artists about building relationships. Sorry, LaVelle. LaVelle has a little platform. What's the name of your platform? Not a little. He has a platform. What's the name of it? <laughs> What's the name of your platform? Boom okay. Sound. Lavelle yeah. has Lavelle has a platform named Boom Sound. It's, it's a great platform, a little a network for all these artists, which is great. Hold okay. up. A lot of them know of me. 
all of a sudden, I see so many artists want to tap on this show right now, send me music, because you're here. I'm not playing it. Tap yeah. me. Build a relationship. I'm not playing your music. Yeah, relationships is very relationship. important. Relationships. Yeah. They put Lavelle's name. They put Lavelle's name in the subject line. <laughs> I'm with Lavelle Peoples. So, with that being said, we're honest, how is it important when it's just like develop a relationship with people and just don't just hop on, just to hop on? True. Not just well, saying Lavelle, you know, a lot of people. Not Lavelle Peoples, Albert. I mean, yeah, you got to build a relationship. It's like. It's like, it's like when you work at a regular job, you, you get cool with the boss and eventually you get a promotion. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing here. You get cool with the bosses, get cool with the playmakers, and then eventually you get a promotion or you, you get your song placed. You no, know, you get your song in the movie, you got your song on someone's album. Why you got that song on that album? Because you were cool because you kept your relationships over. Same with me and JB's. Like I said, yeah. I, went to lunch in, I, went to, I went to lunch in LA. He told me about his birthday party. I flew down. From from Raleigh to um it wasn't about no music. He said it's my birthday party. What day is it? I'm on my way. Did I come? Yeah, the, the, this is the one I did a stack on it, right? Yep. Which one? I'm yeah, single in Atlanta. Cool. Lit. I that know was, that was a lit. lit. <laughs> a lot a lot of people came out. A lot of people came out. It was, I heard. Uh, I heard. <laughs> Let me play, let me play oh, one more record real quick. It was very nice. But that, that's what I mean about it's important, people. If you want to build a Marty A. Johnson show, don't just send me music. You just because you see heavy hitters on. Bill, we're here every Tuesday night. Period. And I don't care who you are. Yes. But, yeah, sure. Um, okay, Kenny. Kenny, you don't have to send me a whole album. Kenny MacGyver. <laughs> um, Lavelle, he sent me, can we talk above the clouds? Mm -hmm. And um, something of the boss of a boss, Jamie. That's another thing. When an artist sends you a bunch of records, when an artist sends you a whole bunch of records, what what do you pick from when someone wants to send you their whole catalog? I barely listen to the music people send me because I'm annoyed. It's like because I don't have a relationship with them. So it's like if I don't know you, I'm not listening to your shit. You know, you know. I'm just being really honest. Like I got emails. Of, Artists, producers, it's like I don't know these guys. They like they just they just send me like people send me music every day, but it's the ones that I, I, I somehow they somehow if I don't know them, they find a way to make a personal connection somehow, or they're referred from someone. It's always good to have a reference too. By the way, it's always good to have a proper introduction. That's some advice I can give out there. If someone the did that call and say, "JB's look." This girl named Kara Tane, I'm calling you now. Bye. Pick up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, really. That's it. Really, it'd be simple as that, you know? Okay. You know what I mean? Me but, uh, any more questions? Because I got five minutes till my phone dies. My, 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 it just turned it's, it's yellow. It's going to be red really soon. Kenny, I'm on playing. Kenny, I'm on playing 30 seconds of it, Kenny. You better wild him in one minute. Kenny, Which can we talk? talk? Is, Kenny, is, is Kenny on? <laughs> Kenny, you got three minutes. Kenny, we got me play a hell for real, you know. You find somebody worth it. Hold on. Where's Kenny MacGyver? We just heard Kenny talk. No, but they don't get to hear it. Oh, yeah. You know you find my uh -huh. swabby looking at the skies, faking God that you mind smile yeah. and how you look from behind. <laughs> Let's go somewhere, hey. Let me pick your mind, my. Now we can talk about this and that. Different ports with trips attached, cause you know we out of source when we disattach. Uh -huh. I'ma keep it real with you. I promise more work and less talk. Yeah. See, see you blessed and got the best heart. I find perfection in your imperfections. Hope ain't disrespecting those your best part. <laughs> Loving all your scars. Hugging all those stretch marks before somebody disrespect you. I stretch marks because you know your man crazy. And I don't play about my lady because you my baby. Better yet, you my best friend. They say life's a Where's movie. Kenny at? Choosing a sunset would be the best ending. Can we go? We go somewhere hey. we get close or a champagne toast. It's a celebration. Got the mother bitches hating. Come on. Can we talk? Oh, for a minute, cause I know life's been hard. Now you get what you 
what you deserve and now we in that coop swerving can we go somewhere and get close on a champagne toast <laughs> it's a celebration got the mother bitches hating come on can we talk You deserve it now we get that cool yeah. Okay, Kenny. I'm out to tell JB's good night. So the strong hook. I like I enjoyed the hook. What do you think of it? Did he get that? Did he get that hook cleared? That's a good question to ask him. I don't know. Don't get me lying. Probably not though. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> get it cleared, but uh but the good thing is they ain't take the, the uh, it's a different type of clearance because you have there's two different type of clearance. You have so, style recording and, and uh, uh what's a, it's an SR form. It's an SR clearance. That's for the sound recording, yep. and the other one is for the performance. So there was, so that's a less of a clearance. So that's a performance clearance that have to clear. So it'll cost them less, or 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 they just give them a little bit of publishing of the record. It's just a matter of getting a hold of the publishers of that song. And, and, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So look. So, it, if you're trying to get tapped in with a multi platform producer, um, do not inbox him or DM him. <laughs> Contact me first. <laughs> if I like it, oh, we'll chop it up. Let's we'll do it. JB, what's your tell all your information before we go? Um, just your studio stuff and all that. Yes, my information is for all y'all. Um, y'all can follow my Instagram, that's at JB. That's J B E A T Z Z, J Beats, the letter J Beats with two Z's. And then uh, Mars, my uh, recording studio is Mars, M A R S dot recording dot studio. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also the website, marsstudio.net. net. Mars studio dot net. Is yes. that the email? Like, is, that, is the email attached to that website to send stuff to? Like, if King J wanted to send something. Well, actually, oh, yeah, actually, I actually do have a Mars email. I have a jbeats at marsstudio.net. You can email that one. Yeah. Boom. Yep. Email so I want to smoke jbeats right here. Just put at marsstudio.net. Yep. Okay. Well, look, it's always been good talking to you and all that stuff. Y'all got yeah. free game off this. Yes. <laughs> for real. Sure. So, look. Well, thanks for having me, Marty. Huh? I'll see you soon, brother. Uh, Lavelle, Charlene, be safe. Yes, sir. Yes, Stay yes. sexy, baby. I love that gray hair. You look like Storm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Goodbye, John. Right. I'll talk to y'all later. See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> he came back. He probably be a little thought on the other. Charlene. Uh-huh. You can tell I know him, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> y'all got so many qualities never out of light. Wait a minute. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh. We got to get that paperwork first. <laughs> them percentages. You them. Them yeah. percentages. <laughs> yeah. You know, we about. Okay, so Lavelle. Yeah. Them, them stories now, them stories that we put up my favorite line, Charlene. The story that I told you about him. Don't be yeah. lying. But no. So I say every week, what do I need to lie for? No reason. No. Oh, and Lavelle. Now, did I tell you about that, that, that outcast thing? Woo! Did I talk that? You said everybody was there. Everybody was there. Everybody. We had to sign like in yeah. We had to sign NDAs and all that stuff. It was epic. They wouldn't I didn't say this. They wouldn't even let you film or nothing. They they took your phones, everything. So Charlene, yeah. you can you can you can imagine what's going on there, huh, Charlene? Yeah. <laughs> yes. They want you, they take your phone and they want you down twice before you go in. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. But um <laughs> Davies. JB's his family here. It's always love here. So, um, okay, first off, Charlie, how is um Josh? The Josh. I mean, really down to earth dude, and I I love the critiques that he gave. Um, I just loved his personality, period. You know, and he was like, like I said, down to earth with what he was telling the artist, you know, and just how he was speaking in general, and he wasn't like. Uh, conceited or anything after he's worked with so many great people you know he was a conceited person you know he was down to earth and i really like that and lavelle and i'm not disrespecting boom sam that's what i mean about 
building relationships. I didn't shoot. I didn't even know my name was in the subject lines. I yes. <laughs> yeah. You didn't hear Marty say that. Uh, oh, I was like, really? I didn't know that was like, I didn't really know that. Mm -mm. What I need to lie for? Oh, no, you're not. That's why I laughed. I was like, well, Lord. No, but that's what I mean. No, that's what I mean about, and no, I, I appreciate people tapping in. I, I can't ride for you. But how am I going to present someone I don't even know to a multi platinum producer that's that true. never tapped in with us? That's true. I mean, I, and tonight was really good. I, like, <laughs> Playing her today. McDiver and JD the blunt man. And Jay. You know, yeah, yeah. Just having all of them have the opportunity to tap in with him, you know, and he, he had an amazing time. He said it was really fun. Carol name, ready all time. Yes. Drop of a dime, ready. Yep. Shout, shout out to her. Shout out to King Jay the blunt man. He bullet mm -hmm. pointed you all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> Up to the net, Nike suit. Yeah, I did. No, ready. No, presenting himself. You know, mm -hmm. um, not all in, not all in texting Lavelle and going back and forth. I'm busy. I'm at work. No, I'm going in the bathroom or something. Lavelle, I, I, I appreciate the free game. That's oh, really, yeah. that's the big part right there. When I asked that question about the sinks, he gave. But he said, if y'all, if you're an artist and you're watching, the information that he said and his answer pretty much gave you the exact pathway to, you know, getting yourself where you need to be as far as making money off your music yeah. and behind the scenes. It ain't about likes and all this no. stigma. Free game, straight like that. That's what I appreciate from him. So he, he is the truth. And I always appreciate him. So you already know what we're going to do. Wait, we're going to go back to LA. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both, okay? Yes. Hold on, Lavelle, did you enjoy yourself in LA? You love LA. Huh? Listen, I thought we living. I thought we was living there for after a while, after a couple oh, days. Yeah. We were living a life in LA. <laughs> That's for <a> show. <laughs> that is so. Lord, so you like it? LA or Atlanta better? LA. LA for show, but Atlanta's any LA, LA some way. LA then Atlanta then Vegas. I put them in that order. Order for me. Vegas, I want. I couldn't stay in Vegas no more than three days. I, no, I can't stay in Vegas that long. Well, let's talk about that later because we got still got to tap him. They only hear us talk about what we be doing on this show. <laughs> hey, Miss. De hey, Miss Deborah, we still on here. Hey, Miss Deborah. Uh, <laughs> and everything we everything we say, he says. But that's everybody that comes on the platform. They that's let them everybody. know. You guys listen to what they're saying because it's exactly what we're going to tell you. They're on point. So. All right. So let's go ahead and tap in. Ooh. They've been doing her a lot all of a sudden. What's going on? <laughs> oh. Who is it? Ooh. Who oh, it is? Who oh, it is? Oh, I'm scared. What are they doing with her? <laughs> Your phone plugged up. You good? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, right. Lavelle, you good? Yeah, you, yeah you, it's promo time. Go ahead. What's up, Summer Walker? It's the Marty A. Johnson Show, along with the panel, Lavelle and Charlene. Sis, you are doing wonderful work with your brand new number one album. In the yeah. meantime, we have a young lady named Carla Ray. Oh. Charlene, she's doing her rendition of Throw It Away. Ooh, okay. Don't mess it up, boo. Don't mess it up. Don't throw it away. <laughs> that part. <laughs> Lavelle, we ain't feeling um, Miss Ray here. What's going to happen? Cut. Guys, we're going to hear this till when? Till now. Right. Yeah. I had a feeling. Oh, you can start all over. We don't hear this till now. We give her justice. We reached the ceiling. I had a feeling. Give her a chance. From the beginning. Must be the end. Yeah. I've been taking on all his baggage. Adding on so much weight. Had me thinking that I was average. When you're really. 
gonna go it away? How you gonna sit and act like it was nothing? Yeah. How you gonna throw it away? How you gonna make yeah. it so damn hard to explain? How you gonna throw it all the way and say my love was not the same? How you gonna throw it Yeah, that was that was refreshing. That was, hey, now that's that sounds like a winner, like a, a winning situation. Whoever would can she do it again? I don't know. In the meantime, I want to see some Walker on the Marty John show. Call Ray, you was cute, but um, some Walker, we would love to have you. So please, Queen, tap in yes. Marty A. Johnson show. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. It was. That was kind of hard, Marty. That was kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, I'm scared. It's great. To she did great on that. <laughs> let me remind y'all. Um, let me give y'all an update. As a reminder, don't worry. We're still working on a new season of the Marty A. Johnson Show, season five. Um, but those have been saying, what's taking so long? No. Greatness takes um, a minute. No, but here's an update. Um, we're just trying to get a slew of artists in a row to start the new season. Uh, as of now, we have 12. The goal right now is 20, and then we'll work the rest from there. And that's just from the first page. And halfway through the list, 12 more he said yes. Okay, mm. okay. Wait a minute now, because we wrote a big list. Uh, they I'm already said yes. I'm excited. That's a lot already. You, you guys, that list is amazing that we came up with. Because so no, gonna... you know why? Because... Um, because um no because because sometimes I want to do at least twenty because sometimes it can be two celebrities in, in one week you know what I mean yeah. mm -hmm. you know what I mean it can be Tuesday Thursday Tuesday Thursday so that's why we make sure everything's all simultaneously that makes sense yes oh, it yeah. does so don't worry no but I'm we're very excited for that um before we leave um what what's going on with your showcase so look my verses what's we got we got we got uh, versus boom sound edition we can go ahead and do it and before anybody be like what yes i got the fair i got the fair use there's fair use in this situation before anybody think i'm trying to i'm like it's not, what fair use as far as just making it a, a, a boom sound edition type of verses okay you know how it is you know versus his own company but we just having fun with the community the boom sound community putting tracks together um head to head it's gonna be three tracks per artist looking at best of three so that's three rounds one minute per track and it looks it's gonna be a showdown right now we got uh, london hot radio they're gonna be broadcasting it live on radio it's gonna be live on twitch discord you i mean pretty much facebook every as many channels as possible at once and right now we're just getting the matchups together in the lineup but we're gonna do that first virtually for everybody prior to our next showcase which is going to be in person and that's okay. look, I don't look. That's next. That's gonna be in the spring, but right so now there's yeah. no month yet. It's definitely gonna be this year, correct? Oh, absolutely. 
Absolutely. Okay. We better come back around soon. Okay. Mm, busy. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, February 12th. We're going to be back on the road. <laughs> yep. Charlene, you forgot. Lavelle don't know, do he? No. He don't oh. know. February 12th, Charlie. You'll see us in the QC. Yeah, the Queen's son. Lavelle, you don't oh. know? Charlotte. Yeah. Our friend said, we are y'all not coming to the show? Y'all coming, right? I said, if you don't get off my get off this raggedy phone. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> regular now. I said, if you don't get off this phone, y'all we're, we're, we're coming. So you tell them. From 112. Oh. If you want to come, I said bye. I said, yeah. <laughs> hey, boom. I said, yeah. So look, um, so look, if you're an artist want to be a guest on the show. We're looking for a top tier artist. Seriously, we say this yeah. all the time. We, I appreciate Lavelle's people chiming in. I appreciate Charlene's people, um, sh- 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 chiming in. My fault, but um, <laughs> no disrespect. I'm not looking for a best friend. I'm not. If you're not top tier, I'll tell them, and I'll tell them to pull them to the side. Why you put them on here, Lavelle? Charlene, you know better. Okay, have I done that, Lavelle? Yeah. <laughs> Charlene, have I done that before? And, and truth be told, both of them sometimes, Lavelle, he knows better now. They they came to the house the other day. Let me let you hear this. I don't want to hear it. It's showtime. <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing. I want to hear it with y'all. Okay, am I lying, y'all? No, you tell me. They're on the truth. show, and I don't even want to hear the records. And Lavelle, tell them truth be Lavelle. Lavelle, tell them truth be told. Charlene even got cut on the show. <laughs> Twice. No, three times, okay? Three. Charlene even got cut. <laughs> three Charlene times. Charlene even got cut. <laughs> yep. Yes. Um, it's the Shark Tank for real. This is the real Shark Tank, no matter who you are. Let me see. Let me see if you're going to come on the show. Let me do a treat. Uh-oh. This is your friend. This is your friend. Oh, no, I, I ain't gonna say the number out loud. I ain't gonna say what it is unless they pick it up. Um, y'all gonna say, what? <laughs> How do you know his number? I was like, I know everybody's number. I just don't say it. All right, let's move on. Um, I'll, I'll play your record, even though you're from the factory. I wasn't playing with the heavy hitters. How about you call me out and um get, get to know us? Hey, I'm Marty. Um, Who's this? Let me go. Let me pick a random one. Tyler. Hey, Tyler, call me. Oh. Who's that? Auto, Tyler? Is that the no, tall one? Yep, that's the tall one. Tyler, she know. Is that the one from Charlotte? Yep. Oh, yes, it's auto. Yeah, auto brim. Okay, that's from the email. Okay. Okay. It's gone. Um, that's auto, man. Put Shinobi. Let's do it. Charlene. You know what happened to me in it. <laughs> Did that cut? <laughs> yeah, good. You know it's the Bells people, so let's see it. Oh, what? Give me my watch when I work out. Never ask me what happened, who care about money and matters. Say back to the safe out. Hit on my show like be show. What he say now? Yeah, be my big brother slava, no question now. Burning up energy like I'm a sage now. Talking wild, that nigga don't know me. Put your hands in your pockets, not homie. Never got your baby back, is she lonely? Never mind that I got her, she hoeing. Feeling tea, not the tea that I'm toasting. Give me me like give me cheap and smoking. Open wide down the hands, bubble choking. Why the sweat on my face, temple coasting? Feel like reps, I just look at my hairstyle. Tommy Pickle, deal pickle, the best house. Smoking pressure, but spark up the black mouth. Twist up earth after earth, too far gone now. Look at him, oh, they caught him, he say, ow. Pack him out, pack him out, cover face now. Friday night, Friday night, like it's straight down. Do it right, keep it right, never play around. I'm a god, so my frequency high now. I remember my old bitch was serving. The sucker tongue got received to get noggin'. I need the privacy up all the curtain. Like the Joker, I smile when I'm lurking. Silhouette picture perfect, you know. Was next. Stop the talking. Who's talking? Don't bet on that. I was confused when niggas thought I was rich. Fuck out. Go on some more in September. Fuck out. Don't play with him, not a tender. Fuck out. Stay out the way in the city. Fuck out. Watch how you lose my attention. Fuck out. Shut the fuck showing no pity. Fuck out. Two step and close with my niggas. Fuck out. Go on some more while I ain't finished. Fuck out. Don't give a damn about no man. First of all, let me ask the bell son real quick. Um, first off, um, Tyler, Auto. First off, thank you for sending it in. Um, let me ask Lavelle this first. Lavelle, 
All jokes aside, would you present this to JB? No. No. Okay. What do you say? We want your latest, not your what? We want your what? We're just the greatest, not the latest. Thank you. Charlene. I ain't got nothing to say. You said it all. He said it all when he said that he wouldn't present it to Jay Beats. That no. said it all. Just my brother Hood Shinobi coming to yeah. the hot soon. Keep working. Yeah. Lavelle, Lavelle, you all, you all off the screen. We only see half of you. Because I'm trying to make sure this thing don't fall. Okay. okay. Oh, so look. Looks like Lavelle, we want your greatest, not your latest. Look, we have top people coming on here. Top. That's coming back. Some are definitely coming back. They said he wasn't coming to the new season come. <laughs> he said he's not coming back. Someone said he's not coming back to the news until the new season. I said, if you don't get off my phone, boy. <laughs> Look, when I'm friends with him, I talk to him regular. Just like I used to I talk to Jay Beats, regular. <laughs> I can tell y'all, y'all definitely came up together. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's my guy there. Like, that's my people's people. Like, people's people. <laughs> no, but anyhow, um, bro, let's move on. That, that ain't it. <laughs> definitely ain't it. And I met him. That's why I thought he had okay energy. Oh no, that's not it. <laughs> what, was he, he at um Lavelle's event? Yeah, he's the yeah. tallest one there. The one I remember one, him. Yeah, tall, tall one. He went early. He went. He actually went and replaced Slim because Slim had technical difficulties. Okay. Then, okay. I remember. Yeah. Yep. I remember. Yeah. Let's do. Let me change the tempo with a female. What is going on with this? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh my Martin. goodness. This is going. This is going. Oh my goodness. I'm nervous. I'm a... Okay. I'm nervous. Okay. What's that fantastic? It's the Marty A. Johnson show. Along with the panel, the Bell and Charlene. We haven't seen you out in a long time. We would love to have you on the show so we can celebrate you. In the meantime, Charlene, we have a gentleman named Tyshawn Knight. Okay. He's doing his rendition of When I See You. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay. However, Lavelle, if we're not feeling Tyshawn, who's doing Fantasia, what's going to happen to him? Tyshawn getting the cut. <laughs> I'm praying for you, bro, because we don't hear this till now. Come on, bro. Um. Look, look. Only a picture in my ear, rise up a flush when somebody says a name. In my stomach, there's a pain. When you rock my direction, I turn the other way. I start to stutter when I speak. And my knees go I'm sorry. I live my head on my pillow. You got me looking out the window. Wishing I to say, you're the reason why. Oh, 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 I can't even fake it. I can't even fake it with you. Um, and that stutter, I was done. <laughs> it's just the stutter. Yeah. It's the stutter. Oh, uh -uh, no, no. <laughs> In the meantime, Queen Fantasia, we would love to have you on this show. Not him. We would love to have Fantasia on the show. So please tap all the way in. This is Marty A. Johnson's show. That was. I said, you are stuttering. <laughs> Let's be no, Nick, where you was. Why you couldn't just do Stevie Wonder or something? You trying to be never mind. Next, we can find uh, a rapper so I can close the show out on a high note. Goodness gracious, God, no, give me someone that's close on a high note. In the meantime, follow Charlene where <laughs> Charlene underscore Monet on Instagram, Charlene F. Pridgen on Facebook. So tell me what you want for breakfast tomorrow, Charlene, because I'm cooking. 
I want some turkey bacon. Okay. Um, eggs on a croissant. Well, grits or no grits? Yeah, like we did this weekend. Okay. Well, that was good. <laughs> it was real good. No, yep. we're, we're, we're having breakfast tomorrow. Well, you're welcome to come. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. You want a male or a female? Do a female. I thought it was a female at first. If if food is not pulled it up, I thought I thought I thought I honestly thought it was a female when I pulled up. I said, "What?" <laughs> so now you now you see why, um, I was like kind of shocked. But look at what's your social media, please. Hey man, boom sound underscore the veil as you see it. And there's still time to kind of be involved with the verses. Just DM Boom Sound Factory all together. Or boomsoundfactory at gmail.com. Rather send your hottest track there. Start that process with the verses. Date for that is coming soon. Do not have one yet, but it will be in February. Boom. Maybe our last song is like, please, girl. Because I would love to get her on a new season. Ooh. Oh. We can kick this off with her. Ooh. See, the, the problem is, other twelve people. Never mind. I'd be nice when it could be watching. <laughs> It'd be nice. I mean, I say it on camera. No, 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 Marty. No, let no, no. <laughs> let me um. Let me be quiet. <laughs> Hello, Monica. It's the Marty A. Johnson show. Along with the panel, Lavelle and Charlene. You do a wonderful work, Queen. But well, please come on the show, Julie, and celebrate you. In the meantime, we have a young lady named Ash. Charlene, she's doing her rendition of the classic. What? Should have known better. Okay. Lavelle, we're not feeling Ash. What's going to happen to sis? Ash, get in the cut. <laughs> <laughs> we don't hear this till now. Come on, girl. Let me start over. Come on, girl. I'm gonna hey. do what I normally do. How to end the show? I want you to hard normally do it. That definitely was that definitely wasn't it, Ash. No, I'm sorry. No better. Should've known. Look. That's that one right there. Should've known better. Should've known. <laughs> no, we can't do Monica like that. We definitely cannot do Monica like that. Cause you know why? This is the original version. In the meantime, tap in with us, martyajohnson.com. The new website is up and running. And follow the bell and Charlene. Good night, y'all. We'll see you next week, Tuesday night. Boom.